Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this video, we will be learning how to create an automatic table of contents with Adobe InDesign CS6. And this is a very advantageous way of building your table of contents rather than doing it by hand. Um, if you export your document to either interactive PDF or to HTML SWF, and you have created an interactive table of contents, one great advantage is that InDesign already generates hyperlinks for you. So here's an interactive PDF. I'm going to close this here. And you can see that if I click on any one of these table of contents entries, that it takes me to the relevant page. And if I open up this little bookmark sidebar here, I also have book hot marks. And uh, if you happen to export your document to EPUB, uh, these bookmarks will also carry forward onto your EPUB document. So there are a lot of great reasons to do this. So let's go to a version of this file where I have not yet created the table of contents. And the first thing we have to look at is our paragraph styles panel because table of contents is all completely driven by your paragraph styles. And the most important style here is article title. I will show you why. Each, at the head of each page, I have styled my article title with article title. In this document, I have seven pages. And in each page, there is an article title. If I select that and look at my paragraph style, you can see that every page is, every head, heading on each page is styled with article title. Very important that I have not applied article title anywhere else. So it's important to notice that you don't have article title used elsewhere. And I also have a couple of other styles here. I'll click off for a minute. You'll see I have a style TOC body text, which is going to just style my table of contents. And I have TOC title. I'll go back to page one and show you what that's going to style. Um, back here, TOC title is going to style this, and TOC body text is going to style this. So we've made all these styles up in advance, and it's advisable if you're going to use the table of contents um, feature to create all of your styles in advance, remembering that you can always edit them later on if you don't like the way that it turns out. So let's go back to a version of the style where I have not created the table of contents. And um, I have created my paragraph styles, however. Those are all there. So now I can go to Layout, Table of Contents. And here is our Table of Contents dialog box. It looks very complicated, but once you understand it, it's not too difficult to use. First of all, up here, Title Contents is the default, but of course you could type something else in there, like Table of Contents. That's going to appear at the head of your table of contents. And this area here is the most important. Uh, you choose whichever, this will be populated by all of the paragraph styles that you have previously created in your document. And if you don't have any paragraph styles in your document, this will be blank. So if you get this and it's blank, go back and create your paragraph styles. And now I know that I have created article title for this purpose and that all of my article titles are styled with this. And notice when I select that, my add button comes alive. Just click on that and article title is now under include paragraph styles. Down here where it says style article title, entry style. Whatever I choose here will style my table of contents and I have already created a style for this, TOC body text. Keeping in mind, I can edit it later if I want to. 
um, up here I actually did create a style to style my table of contents heading up here so I might as well use that. Between entry and number here caret t is the default and that just inserts a tab character. I want right indent tab so I select that to make sure it's replaced. Go to this little dialog here and I'm going to choose right indent tab. Right here where it says style, I'm not going to apply this very right at the moment, but I could if I had created a character style to style my figures or my numbers on my table of contents, I could apply it here, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, and then make sure that you have checked create PDF bookmarks. That's the default, so it's probably already checked. And then you just click OK. Do I want the table of contents to include items in overset text? No. Now I've got a loaded text icon and I'm just going to click and create a text frame. Right here, this looks great. I have uh, my table of contents is doing just what I want, but I don't yet have my tab leaders. And if uh, we look back at the original, You'll notice that I had tab leaders here, a uh, little dotted line leading between this and this, and I uh, want those to be there. And to put them in, you go to Paragraph Styles. I'm going to edit the Paragraph Style TOC Body Text, so double click on that. Go to Tabs, and I'm just going to click in this tab ruler to place a tab, and it actually makes no difference whatsoever where you put this. It has no effect. You just have to have one there. And down here in this little box that says leader, click in that box, and I'm going to type a period and a space, and just click OK. And now my tab leaders have all appeared. So this is really perfect. Um, let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go to Digital Publishing. Actually under Window, Interactive, SWF Preview, I can generate a preview to see if my table of contents is working. You can make this preview box as big as you want. The default is just to preview a page. But we want to preview the whole document. So I have to select this and then refresh play preview. It takes a minute, but now I have a preview. And if I mouse over these items, I should get the little hand indicating that these are live. And indeed, they're working perfectly. If I choose, let me just close this for the moment. Uh, if I choose to export this as an interactive PDF, just click Save. And now we get the export to interactive dialog box. Uh, we want to import pages. Uh, we want to view after exporting. We want to embed page thumbnails. I'm just going to leave this at default. I'm not going to click uh, full screen mode. You have an opportunity here to add page transitions, and I'll add dissolve. And uh, I definitely want a create tagged PDF. And you have a lot of choices in terms of the image handling here. Uh, we're going to go with JPEG, and the JPEG quality, medium is usually pretty good. And resolution, I'm going to 144 because I want this to look good on uh, a retina display, uh, it, iPad, or um, a high resolution kind of device like that. And so let's go ahead and click OK. OK, get some overset text. Oops, I'll correct that later. So let's take a look here. And here's our interactive PDF. You see, it works great, and I have my bookmarks here. It's working perfectly. 
One of the great advantages of the TOC function is if there are changes to your document while you're designing it, you can just update your TOC. For example, what if my client called me and asked me to exchange pages four and five and to change the order uh, or even to add a page? Uh, I can go ahead and do that in my pages palette. And then if I go back and place my cursor, this is important, in my interactive table of contents, I can just go to Layout, Update Table of Contents. Yes. And note that my table of contents has been updated to reflect the new page order. The table of contents feature also uh, works if you export go, to SWF HTML, in order to do that, you go File Export Flash Player SWF and save. And just make sure that you have Generate HTML File checked and view SWF after exporting. Go ahead and click OK. Actually, I'm going to fit this to a smaller size here, 800 by 600, and click OK. OK, that's fine. I'll fix those links later. And here, notice I'm viewing this in Safari, my browser, and I have a nice little SWF file and my interactive table of contents functions perfectly. So I think you'll agree with me that compared with the old method of building your table of contents by hand and having to remember what page everything is on, uh, having InDesign do the work for you and as an advantage have it set up for interactive formats is a tremendous feature and I recommend that you become acquainted with it.